one. So I decided to do a weekly short video that will just show you more in depth how I do some of the things in the longer video. Today I'm going to do a little sneak peek into something that's coming in one of my longer videos. So I've got a mixture of fondant and modeling chocolate. It's almost 50-50, maybe a little more fondant than modeling chocolate. And the reason why I mix the two is um, I had originally planned just to use modeling chocolate, but since still summertime and it's still warm it's a little too soft so it'll give me the firmness of the fondant but the longer sculpting time of the modeling chocolate and it actually works out pretty well and it also tastes really good let's make some lips so first off just gonna push down a little bit make sort of the muzzle of the face so you want to just define a center line And then I'm going to define the shape of the bottom lip by using my tool to push up and gather the material for the thickness of the bottom lip. Okay, and then once you sort of have a shape, use your finger to push down the fondant underneath that line. And that's going to be your chin area. It's a lot of going back and forth when you're making facial features. So then for the top lip, I just want to mark off my center point and I'm going to use my tool to push up. start to form the top lip and then I come back in and I push down on top of that with my fingers and then back up with my tool and then you see as I push down with this tool it starts to make the cupid's bow the corners of the mouth tend to recess a little further back so apply a little more pressure at the corners and then begin to separate the top lip from the bottom lip and then let's define the bottom up a little i'm just pushing in and sort of pulling out This is just cornstarch I'm using because it is warm. The modeling chocolate does get a little sticky, so that helps it to become unstuck. Okay, so you can always use your finger on the outside, use your tool to press against it to make a little more definition. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm pushing the outside of the top lip against my thumb just to create a little more definition. So then when you have a shape you like, you can come in with your tool and you can create some of those score lines, create the creases in the lips. You want to come a little from the top, a little from the bottom, and you're going to radiate from the center out to the corner lines a little bit. So the lines are slightly at an angle. And they're random. So I just have some uh, petal dust. You could also use gel color mixed with vodka if you want. I'm just going to give her a little blush on her lips. A little darker toward the corners and the center lines. And the top lip tends to be a little darker as well. Clean up the dust on the outside with a clean dry brush. If it does get too outside the lines and it smears, you can dip a Q-tip in a little vodka and clean it up. That was one a slightly darker shade. A little at the bottom for a shadow, maybe. And if you want to add a little bit of shine, I have mixed a 50-50 solution of vodka and corn syrup. Now, this will take away the color. Less so if you use gel color and let it dry. But with the powder, it for sure will take away the color. So I'm just going to add a little bit in the center. Maybe wherever I want some highlights. I'm going to blend it out. Okay, and then that will leave a gloss finish and you'll be able to touch it. it it doesn't dry sticky if it's at the right ratio if there's too much corn syrup it might dry a little sticky but otherwise once it's fully dry you should be able to touch it and there you have your lips